This is a bill entitled an Act to Amend the Ontario College of Trades and Apprenticeship Act 2009. First reading of the bill, Premier Lecture Prozac de Loi. The member for a short statement. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, currently, the Ontario College of Trades and Apprenticeship Act 2009 includes a section that is not enforced that would prohibit a person from employing journey persons or sponsoring or employing apprentices unless the person is a member of that college. Uh, the bill repeals that section and related provisions. The bill also eliminates the class of membership for persons who employ journey persons who sponsor or employ apprentices. The short title of the bill will be the No New Tax for Business Act, Mr. Speaker. It is Small Business Week, and I'm hoping that when this bill is passed, it will exempt all employers from the, that have employees with the College of Trades from ever paying any kind of a membership tax. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Introduction of bills. Member from Lanark, Frontenac, Lennox, and Addington. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, I move that leave be given to introduce a bill entitled An Act to Amend the Financial Administration Act with respect to special warrants and that it now be read for the first time. Mr. Mozali be given to introduce a bill entitled an act to amend the Financial Administration Act with respect to special warrants and it now be read for the first time. Is it the pleasure of the House? The motion carried. Carried. This is a bill entitled an act to amend the Financial Administration Act with respect to special warrants. First reading of the bill, Premier Lecture Project to Law. Member for a short statement. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, this bill amends the Financial Administration Act to limit the circumstances in which the Lieutenant Governor and Council may order that a special warrant be issued when the Legislature is not in session. At present, a special warrant may be issued at any time when the Legislature is not in session. The bill amends the Act so that a special warrant can be issued only if no more than 60 days have passed since the Legislature was last in session. Thank you. Thank you. Introduction of bills. The member from Lanark, Frontenac, Lennox, and Addington. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, I move that leave be given to introduce a bill entitled An Act to Provide for Grand Juries in Ontario, and that it now be read for the first time. Mr. Hillier Mousseli be given to introduce a bill entitled An Act to Provide for Grand Juries in Ontario and it now be read for the first time. Is it the pleasure of the House the motion carried? Yeah. Carried. This is a bill entitled An Act to Provide for Grand Juries in Ontario. First reading of the bill, Premier Lecture, Project de Loire. The member for a short statement. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, this bill enacts the Grand Juries Act 2013 with, and here are some highlights of the Act. Judges of the Superior Court of Justice are required to convene grand juries in every county and district. Grand juries serve a one-year term. The seven members of each grand jury are selected from the jury roll in accordance with the Juries Act. Members may be excused from jury duty on grounds of illness and hardship. Members may also be excluded from jury duty if their service would or could present a conflict of interest. Grand juries may review the activities of public institutions specified in subsection 3-1 of the Act. A review is limited to activities within a grand jury's county or district. Grand juries may consult the public about which institutions to review. Grand juries may enter the premises of the institutions and may make inquiries of the institution's employees. Grand juries may appoint experts for assistance. Grand juries have the right of access to records that are in the institution's custody and care unless the records fall within an exemption from the disclosure under the Freedom of Information and Privacy, Protection of Privacy Act, or the Municipal Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act. Certain exemptions will not apply where a compelling public interest in the disclosure clearly outweighs the purpose of the exemption. Grand juries are required to prepare reports in respect of their reviews. Reports must be filed as public documents and be made available for public inspection. Reports must also be tabled 
in the Legislative Assembly. It is an offense to obstruct a review by a grand jury or any member of a grand jury. Penalties are specified in Section 8 of the Act. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. Introduction of bills. The member for Lanark, Fronick, and Lennox, and Addington. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, I move that leave be given to introduce a bill entitled An Act Respecting Jury Trials for Provincial Offenses and that it now be read for the first time. Mr. Earlier moves to leave begin to introduce a bill entitled an act respecting jury trials for provincial offenses and it now be read for the first time. Is it the pleasure of the House the motion carried? Yes. Carried. This is a bill entitled an act respecting jury trials for provincial offenses. First reading of the bill, Premier Lecture Project de Bois. Remember for a short statement. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, this bill amends the Provincial Offenses Act by allowing persons charged with an offense to elect to be tried by a court composed of a judge and jury if any one of the following circumstances exist. The penalty for the offense includes a fine of $25,000 or more, seizure of property, or term of imprisonment. Or two, there is a likely, uh, reasonable likelihood that a conviction would result in the termination or suspension of a professional registration or license for a business license, registration, permit, or other approval. Approval. A jury is composed of 12 persons selected in accordance with the Juries Act. The jury is required to give a unanimous verdict. If the jury cannot agree, the judge may adjourn the trial or discharge the jury and direct the impaneling of a new jury. The jury may make recommendations related to sentencing. The Juries Act is amended to enable the Lieutenant Governor and Council to make regulations concerning the application of the Act to a jury trial under the Provincial Offenses Act. Thank you very much. Thank you. The introduction of bills. The Minister of Education. Thank you, Speaker. I move that leave be given to introduce a bill entitled.